As Iran's attack on Israel is scheduled to take place in the next 48 hours, the Foreign Office signals that it will not, in fact, be releasing any legal advice about its arms sales to Israel. Actually, once again, the media have confused the problem with the solution. Arms to Israel is a form of leverage to help the besieged Palestinians in Gaza. I cannot imagine anyone would stint Israel arms to counter attacks from Iran, however much Iran feels it was provoked. This is despite the phenomenal cock-up and the relentless stupidity of the IFS in targeting the WCK charity convoy, the political consequences of which will seriously hit international support for Israel when Iran strikes. In addition, of course, the Netanyahu plans for an effective apartheid solution in Israel must be countered and UN forces must be imported to minister over a renewed, restored, revived Gaza. The Iranian threat is simply a poised maneuver that has been waiting for years to grab its opportunity, whether in the form of a direct assault on Israel or an attack as in 1992 on one of its diplomatic sites. We need to constructively and consistently disentangle the Gaza situation and the absurdity of Netanyahu from the support for Israel's right to self-defense. We also need to be clear about the problems of the current leadership, the validity of criticism about the Gaza campaign itself as it occurred, and Itamar Ben-Gavir's trigger-happy approach to his own security breach. This follows Israel's suspected bombing of targets in Damascus a week ago, killing seven Iranian military advisers linked to Hezbollah, Iran's proxy militia, and the subject of an earlier war going from 1982 through to 2006. Whatever Biden's reservations about the Gaza campaign, and I think those are shared, the message from Washington is un about unequivocal support for Israel against the threats from Iran. And I think that's something that we should get behind.